avoid this mistake so you don't lose the house of your dreams. Check out this video real quick and I hope it helps you so you don't end up in the same position that these clients did. Check it out. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, like I said in the title, please avoid this mistake so you guys don't lose the house of your dreams. This happened to us just this month. One of the listings that I have for one of our clients who's selling their home, the buyer was literally one week away from closing on this home and uh, we would have had my, my client's home sold and then they could move on to the next stage of their life. But with one week before closing, the buyer's agent called me and said, I'm really sorry, we're not able to close. Something came up in the underwriting process and my buyer can no longer qualify. And we are looking at other options to see if we can make this work. What was that one thing that literally could ruin this deal and we might have to go back on the market? Uh, I don't know the uh, answer to that yet because we're still in the middle of it, but I will definitely update you as soon as we uh, have a solution or as soon as this home finally sells, whether it's this client or somebody else. So the underwriter, something they probably should have cut all up front, but they did not have what's called a verification of rent that they asked the buyer to come up with and they couldn't. And the reason why they couldn't, and verification of rent, it's simply showing some sort of proof that you have been paying rent every month on a regular basis without being late. And this buyer could not provide that. And the reason why is because nobody was there to educate them on how to make those payments, how to pay rent to ensure that in the future they have an easy way to prove that they paid rent on time and to have an easy paper trail. So they paid differently every month. They paid cash some months, they used the money order on some months, couple of months they wrote a check. So it was just all over the place, all kinds of different ways. And now they don't have a proof that is something that the underwriter can accept, something that you can see on a monthly basis, this payment was made for rent out of their account to the landlord. So how can you avoid this? Very, very easy guys, it's super simple. Every single month that you pay rent, write a personal check from your account to the landlord's, landlord's account, write the name of the landlord on the check, in the memo write rent, and every single month do the exact same thing. Personal check to the landlord for the amount of rent every single month. Now I know there are some people, rarely, that still don't have a personal check in account or for whatever reason they don't use a bank. If you have to write a money order or a cashier's check for your rent every single month, that's okay as well, but document that keep a copy of the receipt, put it in a folder, and every single month, put that in the same folder and keep them all together. Because in six months, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months, whatever time frame it is that you're finally going to buy that home, the underwriter is going to ask you for proof of rent, that you paid rent on time every single month, and that will satisfy that um, requirement. Now. If any lenders are out there watching this, please comment below if you know of a different way to, to accomplish this. If there is something that I don't know, because I know most lenders are going to ask for the same thing. I can't say all lenders because I don't know. So if any lenders out there you would like to comment on this and help us out, please do. We'd love the feedback. All right, so that's it. So I really hope that helps, guys. And this really is a small piece of the bigger problem and you know I talk about this all the time the lack of education in this field is just unbelievable there is zero education out there for you as a consumer as a home buyer or as a home seller and that's why I do these videos so please comment below give me a thumbs up let me know if this is helpful 
And if there's a different topic that you would like me to cover or find out more about, I would love to. It'd be an honor, honestly. Um, every week, I'm going to put out a new video with something that other clients are struggling with or a hurdle that somebody's come across because I really do want to put as much information in front of you, educational information that will help you make better decisions for you and your family, whether you're buying or selling a home. So please let me know how else I can help. Give me a call, text me, email me, whatever is easier for you. Uh, bunch of other videos on YouTube that cover different topics. So check that out and let me know how else I can help. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day and looking forward to connect with you soon. Bye-bye.